Uh, my sense is, oh, we were going to bet, right? Oh, yeah, we have to do a few bets before we get out of here. We were going to bet as to uh, whether um, uh, Bernie Sanders enters the race. I am a little bit skeptical because, basically because of Elizabeth Warren's uh, proposal on, on drugs. Because mm -hmm. there were, everybody in the Senate who's running came out with a drug proposal over the past like month and a half. Like I have, like, a, <laughs> I, like, like literally, like one is like the, the drug uh, price control act, and like Merkley and Klobuchar and Sherrod Brown <laughs> and uh, Bernie came out with one of his, and they all, you know, sort of complement each other. Different. Hers is the most um, radical. I don't think it's, you know, like, you know, the VA apparently started doing this at the beginning of the year. They started to produce. Uh, generic drugs when there was spot shortages. The oh, VA yeah. actually, like the government the, the is government, producing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but well. she is calling for this when there's a market failure and defining the market failure as pretty broad yeah. for generic drugs. And that is more socialist than anything Bernie has proposed. It is the government yeah. getting involved <laughs> in the means of production. <laughs> and my, my theory is that she would not be picking a lane. Her policies would not be filling a lane to the left of Bernie Sanders if Bernie Sanders is going to run. She's going to be the person who's like Bernie Sanders, but safer. Yeah. And that move sounds to me like you're laying the groundwork because you think Bernie's not going to run. Now, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Maybe she just thinks he isn't or whatnot. But so let's 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 make a bet because this is the big question, right? Because everything opens up if Bernie's not there. Like people yeah. won't even. There's a huge percentage of, of Democrats. I'm I don't breaking know, huge, Booker if 10%, Bernie doesn't run. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of who won't know who yeah. to hate. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> people will have no clue. That's people will saying, not like, know who that. Who that to is hate. the only upside of Bernie not running is to see what all these people would do. Like with where themselves. everyone's shaking. Yeah, right. where would yeah. they make? Where, where would they have like well, this bizarre is what, emotional meltdown? Like, what like, happens yeah. when these tactics get applied to, you know, Cory Booker? Yeah, right. or these tactics get applied to? It will be a very to, crab in a know, barrel situation. I have to say, like speaking of. So, but wait, you don't think he's going to run? You're putting yourself down for he's going to pass. We're all putting five bucks in a pool. I don't want right. to. I know I don't want to rope you into Five bucks. All right. I'll, I'm, I'll, uh, I have to think. I have to think about it for a minute. But I, I'll bet. Yeah. All okay. Right, so, so five, you're bucks, five bucks. He's not running. I say uh, he's not running. All right. But I'm sorry. What were you saying? I I think he. I think it depends on if he sees numbers doing but, well but, or not but, doing but, well. But, but, of course, it depends. On <laughs> shit. All right. I'm I, I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say he I'm gonna say he runs. I'll say he runs. All right, I'm going to say, and and I'll uh, maybe I'm my biases. I, I think that's that's interesting, but I also think like he essentially just did a you know kitchen cabinet at the Sanders Institute two weeks ago, and not only domestically with leading progressives, but essentially had like a global contingent fly into Vermont to beg him to run for president, uh, which is like literally what Varoufakis did there. Uh, he made sure that Haddad came in Brazil, so. I actually think that the fact that he's spending so much time around foreign policy is really interesting because I, I think it's both where he wants to go, but it also opens up a whole other lane of daylight from somebody like an Elizabeth Warren. And, you know, that's not going to be particularly important to getting voters, but it definitely is setting a whole new uh, standard, I think, for like the issues he's putting markers down on, even if he does want her to move towards him and run. Anyways, I, I already yeah, forgot I, what Perrine bet. He, <laughs> I said running. He's running. <laughs> He's running. Okay. He's running. Matt, because I want all this cash. Yeah, you're going <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to laugh what it in. Are oh, you getting in the mic? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh you yeah. son of a bitch. You fucking wow. Heidi, oh. Heidi Hyde camp of this God shit. Damn. <laughs> you're, like a, you're, like a, you're like a hedge fund guy. That's all you're doing. <laughs> yeah. You're just playing the split. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's just I'm just bouncing it. the books. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, well, Matt All right, and I yeah, are going to enjoy up, so why Matt isn't he running? I, uh, I don't... I just have a feeling like it's it's Bernie versus <laughs> Ber if it's Bernie versus the field, uh, and I want Bernie. Uh, I I just always expect to be disappointed, so I don't think he's gonna actually run. Fucking arbitrage. <laughs> 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 All right, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna make another prediction. So it's we got twenty bucks in the pool. <sighs> Pat and I are gonna split it. Um, yep, spend it wisely. I think Karina will get you're drinks. gonna see. I think what uh, what Bernie is gonna do with those people. Yeah. I think that's going to be part of the deal. 
Yeah, no, I. Well, you want my could, support? It could be a yeah. much broader. I need this, this, and that. I'll tell you what. Bernie's running for Secretary of State. If he doesn't run. <laughs> no, no, but no I, I mean. But look, but it's but if, Warren if she knows comes this, out with a wave, Warren, Warren knows this more if than she anybody. She comes out and is like personnel is policy. I'm also yep, talking, yep, yep, and yep. I think Bernie's yeah. learned that lesson. We're going to staff these agencies, and I actually have a plan on democracy in Brazil and the Iran deal. Then, I mean, the one thing that would happen is I think any prevaricating that people like us would have as to like who our second pick is done immediately. Support Elizabeth yeah. Warren. In a heartbeat. Like, I think that would be a seamless transition if they did it that way. I, like, I think she would get a lot. Like, at, at least speaking for myself, because I'm not going to I'm not going to do the like, oh, I'm not sure yet. Let's see where well, they she's can push gonna, people. She, I'll say who I'm going to vote She for. wins the left, but she doesn't yeah. win the uh, the ideologically incoherent but against Clinton vote. No, but the theory, <laughs> I guess the theory is, the theory is, right. Uh, right, right. But how big is that? Who gets that, though? I don't know. Tulsi That's... Gabbard. Tulsi no, no. Uh, well, I mean, well I those guys. I guess. Run. I mean, I guess they're. I guess Which they're. A nightmare, I guess man. they're Biden or uh, or Beto. Biden or Beto. Biden yeah. or Beto. I mean, the upshot of Beto is that. Or Sherrod Brown. I think Sherrod Brown could appeal to that type. Maybe. maybe. I think the upshot of Beto is that he knocks Biden out pretty quickly. Yeah. He cancels Biden out. Totally. <laughs> right. There's no purpose of Biden with Beto, and I've been much more bullish on Biden as a candidate than you. But if Beto's in. Why? Uh, did you see that uh, that video of that that's going around now that people are starting to dig up a Biden? Like, there's so much crap. Oh no, out he's. There. I don't think he's going to do it. Actually, I'm pretty sure he won't do it. No, he doesn't need the hassle. He, he could much better. To he's believe. done it. I mean, he has done it twice. And... No, but I'm. <laughs> but it's like better. Well, to here's be the, the here, beloved uncle. Yeah, but you know yeah. what? Here's the thing. I mean, I don't know. And and I think it's true with the Republican side more than the Democratic side, but I think this is changing too. As as recently as ten years ago, the conventional wisdom is like you don't just run for president. It's a big decision. You yeah. got to get your family around. You got to realize you got to go through all this hell. Yeah. It's going to be a nightmare. You're going to destroy yourself. But that's not the case anymore. No, but the Republican Joe primary. Oh, but wait a second. The Republican yeah. primary showed this, and it's more true, I think, with the Republicans than it is the Democrats. But running for president particularly when there's more than like five people running, it's a pretty sweet gig. Yeah. <laughs> because all of a sudden you have campaign paying for you to go do your book tour, right. campaign going out to do your social media, promote you, you're going to get a radio show, you're going to get a book deal, you're going to get... This is a business plan. It's totally, totally true, but I think and in Biden's case that is... like I actually Now tell me when did you read Joe this Biden book? Did wouldn't you read want this? to go around... Well, no, somebody else is dying. I agree, but did you read, <laughs> audiences? I totally agree with that's that's a right. The egos is strong, but I read, I re, there was some piece that came out in New York Magazine last week about this. And first of all, and, part, and this lends itself towards him running. He actually has turned down like they've actually people offered Joe Biden like twenty million dollars worth of speaking gig, <laughs> which he has turned down because he doesn't want to have a Hillary Clinton situation, which is savvy. But on the other hand, on the other hand. Do you really want to go from like beloved Uncle Obama vice president to like you run and all that's going to happen is he's just going to like that's every too, single too massage video? Well, first of Anita all, Hill, because he, he, Iraq, he believes segregation. He thinks he's the only guy who can beat Trump. I, I think he's he said the other day. I that think he thinks, thinks anybody the only guy. could beat Trump. He That's his first gap of the cycle. <laughs> well, he said two days ago, I think anybody could beat Donald Trump, I, I which I agree with him. On, I don't actually. think, I mean, I think he, he goes into that, but I also think that like he could say to himself, like, his, I keep my head down a little bit. I can be a guy who the, pre, the, the nominee has to come to. Has to come to me. And, and say, uh, what's it going to take to get your support, Joe? It's possible. Yeah. And you know what? I want to be ambassador or I yeah. want to be secretary of state. Ambassador I want to be secretary of state. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, for anybody who isn't Bernie, uh, that's a pretty likely pick for secretary of state, regardless of whether he runs or not, frankly. I mean, I mean, I, not I, that I mean deep but, well, there. you know, this is the type of thing like you, you could say like, I can go out there and as long as I just keep, uh, also the thing with his kid, that's, that's not like, like who knows? Uh, the, the kid who's passed away, his wife remarried the other kid. I don't think he worries about I mean, I know, man. honestly, like, weird what like, salience is that going to happen today? <laughs> that's man? why he didn't run in 2016. But you're right. Today, it would have no right? salience. Right? Like, I that's mean, totally come on. True. 
That's totally true. That's totally true. I just I, here's I, the answer. I, I didn't see. have my yeah. my imprisoned personal attorney <laughs> to pay off anybody. That's the I'm answer not saying for it's a bad every thing charge for about anything. Right. Right. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, look, um, uh, Alex. Is there anything else that uh, you feel like we cannot enter 2019 without having been said here? Oh my God. Um, I I'm not. That conversation made me dread the next two years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about like Iowa now and I'm thinking about all this other crap. Uh, I, I just, I keep focusing, I would say on the opportunity that is, yeah, that no, is I know, here. I like, know. It's going to be dismal. We're going to be living in a society. Like, does, it, God help us that the, those four uh, Democrat, uh, you know, democratic appointees on the Supreme court um, live to 2021. Yeah. Um, oh, but uh, can you indulge me for 20 seconds with the Bernie becomes president and the like, Burlington College scandal blows up and Sanders is on TV being like, well, what he did was he ratted. He's a rat. It really should be illegal. What they do is they go, they find rats. <laughs>